I'm standing here on the river here, Rio Tomyabamba, with my friend Victor. This is the guy that I met through uh, Juan Zambrano from down in Monta. Victor is a, a personal driver. He owns a taxi company. He provides a good service, and I'm going to tell you all about it when I come back. Hey. Oh, Rocket Chick Rogers. Hello there. Okay, so I wanted to just take this moment to say thank you for you know giving me this time to to uh, to let me interview you. A lot of people are very shy about being interviewed for YouTube, and mm -hmm. I can understand that. But uh, you know we'll keep it short and sweet, and I'll try to keep it as painless as possible. <laughs> so, sure. but I met you through Juan Zambrano, and right. everybody knows about Juan Zambrano. He's a driver in Mata. Mm -hmm. He has a network of drivers throughout Ecuador that provides the same services that he does. If he can't do it, you can do it. And that's how I came about meeting mm -hmm. you. Juan brought me to Waikil, and then uh, I got you through him. I got you to meet up with me the next day, and you took me around and showed me all things Coinca. And then when it's time for me to go back to Monta, you're going to drive me to Waikil. Juan's yes. going to pick me up in Waikil and get me home. So, how did all this start for you? What did you? I know you told me earlier that you you mm -hmm. came here from New York City. Take it from there. How did you get this started? Okay, I lived in New York for almost 11 years and came back to Ecuador, Cuenca specifically, back in 2011. And I bought a taxi. And working in my taxi, I met a couple from the U.S. And they were actually the ones that got me into this job back in 2011. Okay. So then, but, so, but you told me earlier about this process that you had to go through to qualify to buy a taxi. Yes, actually, yeah. it could be tedious uh, sometimes. Uh, in my case, I had to make a cash deal for my taxi and the medallion, the medallion we call it in New York. And here in Ecuador, it's called, in Cuenca, this is called Puesto, where you buy the taxi and the medallion that enables you to, to drive a taxi. So that's like a license? A license, yeah, exactly. So you're saying medallion. Like in New York. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. That gives you the rights to be a taxi driver uh, in this municipality. Yeah, okay. and we are all regulated here by the municipality of the city of Cuenca. Okay, and then I think you told me also that nobody can just come in here and buy a medallion and be a taxi driver. Somebody has to leave the system. Yes. Is that, that right? Yeah. That's how it is right now because, uh, again, the municipality controls here with what it is with the, with the taxi transportation. Yeah. public transportation so they don't want to increase the number of taxi members somebody has to either sell you the the license yeah or retire or quit and then that way you can buy from that person so in the states and we call that regulation so yeah. that's basically what the city is doing they're saying we're only going to allow so many taxis on the street exactly and if you want to be a driver you have to get somebody's spot you got to either buy it somebody's got to leave Etc. Exactly. Etc. Et mm -hmm. So that's how it is. So 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 now you have your taxi. You provide a taxi service, but now you also have a different car. Mm -hmm. You have a very nice car, I have to Thank say. You. <laughs> you know, it's a, a Chevy SUV. That's a little bit. Well, it's a lot more comfortable than a taxi. <laughs> we all know. Right. You know, but that's another service that you provide. Your taxi is now on the street. Somebody else is driving it. Yes. And you are providing personal driving services. Kind of like what Juan Zambrano does. Exactly. So when did you start doing that after you got your taxi? When did you start providing personal driving services? Maybe maybe around a year later. Okay. A year after that, uh, again, this couple, this uh, U.S. expat couple that I met in Cuenca, they told me to go and make these business cars. Yeah. And then they would go out to Ringo gatherings in Cuenca and they were going to give my business card to their friends. Okay. And so, little by little, I started elaborating what I can do, what I can help with things that expat needs here in the city. Yeah. And so I started naming those things in the, in the business card. 
So that's just like good old word of mouth advertising. That's how yes. it all started. It cascaded from there. So give me give me some examples of some of the rides and some of the services that you've had to do. Is there anything that really stands out that you don't ever want to do again? Or, I mean, have you met some <laughs> weird people or what? Yeah. I mean, in this, like kind, me of business, <laughs> in this kind, of, kind of business, you meet, you meet all kinds of people, yeah. you know. I've been in a situation where I've been asked where if he, I can get weed, for example. <laughs> weed? What yeah. about prostitution? You that too, about that, that too? too, yeah, that too. So it's been, it's been, you know, a few situations where I've been asked about that. Yeah. So yeah. I guess, you know, it's, it's part of the job, you know, people are curious. Yeah. They want to know, you know, if it is for real, what they read online, you sure. know, they read on books. Yeah. So. And so, of course, you charge for this, you yeah. know, and... Uh, is it okay for me to tell you how much you charge? Yes, or, of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's my understanding you charge ten dollars an hour. Yes, in the inner city of Quaker. Inner city. Okay. Yeah, inner city of Quaker. Okay, which is very reasonable, you know. Uh, sure. As far as you know, how far away would you drive somebody? What What if somebody for that, wants for to that go to fee, Quito? For that fee, for the ten dollars an hour, I even go to, for example, the national park, Cajas. Okay. And you know, I just recently, actually last week, I took to U.S. Uh, gentlemen yeah for fishing yeah and then i even go to the other side of the city which is going east to little towns outside cuenca like a short the leg wallaceo six and yeah. san bartolome places yeah. like that yeah. going south also even if i have to go to the waterfall in giron okay there's a nice place there the, the waterfall so it's, it's for the same fee what is the different fees is mainly if I had to drive to the airport in Quito yeah. or Guayaquil or places like the beach in Manta and Salinas. It's a long drive. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that's, those are different fees. That's understandable, yeah. yeah. And and is any of that negotiable or is that, I mean, you, you know yeah, what you've got to charge and... I've yeah. been also helping people in terms of getting driver license, getting cedulas. Okay. And for that, I, I charge uh, like a package. Okay. Like yeah, a package. A package Not the $10 regular an hour. Got it. Uh, you know, the $10 an hour, but uh, as a package. Yeah. And yeah. so there's, even you know, sometimes there's room for negotiation. Okay. All right. Uh, but you got it. You know what you have to charge, and yeah. you can't drive that car for free. Exactly. The insurance yeah. is not free, gas is not free. Yeah. No. That's another okay. thing, you know, that in Ecuador, insurance is not, car insurance is not mandatory. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Not, Every yeah. car counts with liability, yeah. but and then you got to go out and get your own insurance. In my case, I got my two SUV insurance. Okay, so both yeah. of your cars are insured. Insure. Yeah. yeah. That's good to know. Well, all right, well, I think that's probably about it. I, I'm going to... Put all your information in the description below. Thank uh, you. I I think that if anybody has wants to get a hold of you, is it okay to put your WhatsApp number in the please, description? Please okay. do. So I'm going to do that. I, I'm going to put all of this information. If I don't fall in the river here, I'm going to put all of this information in the description below. His WhatsApp number. Do you have an email address? Yes, sir. I do. Okay. I'm going to put his email address. I'll make it easy for you guys to find him. Give him a call. I, mean, I have he, a U.S. number, too. He has a U.S. phone number as well. Magic Jack. Okay. Magic, oh, Magic Jack. Okay. Yeah, I have a Magic Jack. Okay. So, there's no excuse for not being able to get a hold of him, all right? You'll be able to find him. And if you, if you have any trouble finding him, contact me. I'll make sure you get in touch with him, okay? Uh, as I always say in every video, thank you for being a subscriber to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I post a new video, ring that bell. It's right there. Okay? Thanks, Victor. I appreciate Thank you, it. Thank you. From the real Tommy, Tommy Bomba River here in, in Cuenca. Some little bug just flew in front of me. Okay. Ciao.
Perfect. Thank you. That's going to be a good video, man. <laughs>